I'm sure you've seen the release of OpenAI's Operator, which is a special AI agent designed to perform tasks. It's a web browser mimicking human actions that can click, interact with stuff, scrolling, and navigating, but with the precision of a mouse and keyboard. This product launch has made this functionality accessible by anyone. But what does this mean for UI UX? Well, it means that a lot of mundane tasks are going to be taken up by operators and they will become a lot of website traffic in the future. And now if a a good chunk of website traffic is through operators, then why not optimize the website for them? Why should you really care what your website looks like from a UI UX perspective? Listen, businesses are driven by data, so websites are going to get a lot uglier to optimize for operators. But this has happened before. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Google's search algorithm was a dominant force in directing web traffic, and businesses began optimizing primarily for search bots rather than humans. Keywords were stuffed into footers, invisible text was embedded for crawlers, and websites put SEO first, which came at the expense of pleasant human user experience. Sites became awkwardly structured to please Google's crawlers. So what could websites look like in the future to become more optimized? Well, there isn't any component library or design system that exists yet, but if we look at the criteria to operator first design, we can find some stuff. Gov.uk design system is built for government services in the UK so it's heavily focused on semantic HTML and accessibility standards. The Carbon Design System by IBM has a strong accessibility mandate, strict component patterns with a well-defined ARIA attributes, and it has consistent class naming. It's not too ugly, is it? The Lightning Design System by Salesforce is in the same boat. Of course, for both, you'd still need to add your own JSON linking data or microdata. But let me know your thoughts. Am I crazy or does this have some interesting implications for UI UX in the future.